Our surveillance is also confirming that while H1 can strike anyone, this is a younger person's disease. We're seeing that the highest proportion of H1 infections is in people under the age of 15. 40 percent of the deaths are occurring in people 40 to 65 years of age, and in some cases with people who are otherwise healthy. Forty percent of those that have been admitted to intensive care and one-third of those who have died have not had any underlying medical conditions. We're also seeing too many young people and young adults in intensive care units on ventilators. Children under five years of age have had the highest rate of admission to ICU, followed by adults 45 to 64. The median age of people with H1N1 in the hospital, that's the half younger, half older, admitted to ICU or have died, have been substantially younger than what we see during a regular flu season. In fact, those most seriously affected by H1 are 23 to 45 years younger than what we see with seasonal flu. During 2007 and 8, the median age for hospitalization from flu and pneumonia was 71. For ICU admission, the median age was 68, and for death, 82. As of November 21st, the median age for H1N1 hospitalization was 26, or 45 years younger. For ICU admissions, was 45, or 23 years younger. And for deaths, 54 years of age, or 26 years younger than what we would see and what we saw in the last full year of seasonal flu. As we reach this peak and come down the other side, we have a real opportunity to avoid these situations by continuing to take a very aggressive approach with this pandemic, by providing early treatment, and most importantly, by immunizing in a broader way than we ever have before for seasonal flu. The pandemic H1N1 flu is a preventable illness. La grippe pandémique H1N1 est une maladie qui peut être évitée. Le Canada a la chance d'avoir un vaccin sur un très efficace. To have a very effective vaccine, which everyone has access to. Thanks to foresight and planning, we do have a vaccine that is cost-effective and can prevent illness, prevent hospitalizations, and prevent deaths. More than a third of Canadians are now immune to H1 because they've either been immunized or have been infected during this pandemic. But that still leaves millions susceptible to catching it. I cannot stress enough how important it is to get the vaccination. There is a huge cost associated with not getting immunized and with H1 and, and with H1. Even if you are not personally worried about getting H1, for the sake of others around you as well as your loved ones, please get your H1N1 flu shot. You'll be doing your part to reduce the risk and level of infection in our communities and by protecting them, those around you as well. Thank you. Amen.